subscribe to this video, press on the like and also press the bell too. Thank you. Hey guys, if you're new here, thanks for joining us. And don't forget to smash the like button and, and hit the subscribe button and also press that bell button. Thanks for joining us. Hey guys, thank you for joining our show. And, and hit the bell and click the square button. But today I'm going to say rainbow. 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 <laughs> hey guys, so welcome to Dami Royal. If you're new here, thank you for joining in. Um, I appreciate you. Please do not forget to subscribe and share my videos. Thank you as you do so and God bless you. So guys, how are you doing in this period of Corona? I want to wish you happy coronation or happy coronation, whichever one you choose to call it. If you are home, working from home or a student taking his classes online, happy coronation or coronation, whichever one. Happy all of them. I know it's a trying time for a lot of us, a lot of people out there. Just keep your uh, hope strong and keep your faith in God. And I'm sure that it will make us overcome this trying period. My son was asking me which day. I was like, mommy, can I go play with my friends outside? I said, ah, no, you can't go outside. Nobody's going outside. I said, why? Is it because of Corona? I said, yes exactly <laughs> because of corona guess what he said he said i guess we, I, I guess we are the only one that's thinking about this corona i said yes because your mommy is african i'm an african mother i am not on your africa before you hear a everybody as jp as a japa we are running away unlike on your they want to see the deaths that will kill them no i'm not taking that risk so you are not going out going out even before government quarantine every anybody we we self quarantine ourselves inside the house. Everybody stay in your home. So I am staying in my home. Don't worry. Call me anything you want to call me. But then stay safe out there. If you have to go out, I mean, if it's compulsory, if it's necessary for you to go out, please stay safe. I don't think I'll ever join them in saying that things from China do not last. Because guess what? Corona has been out now since when? Well, we hope that God will take care of things as quickly as possible. And guess what? You see this my eyelashes. Over a week now, I have been looking for a solution to take it off. But no, it's hanging in there. Like, I am not coming out, no matter what you do. I don't know. I have used coconut oil, olive oil, avocado oil, Vaseline, anything oil. I have gone to the beauty store to buy lash remover. Even that one did not work. That one just a pepper in my eye. I don't know what I have done wrong. Go. I don't know. I use my money to pay for the thing. I said, I don't want it again. The thing refused to come out. What will I do, please? If you have a solution for me, put it in the comment section. Please, uh, please, oh, help your girl. I don't take it off. Look at it. Looking like blah, 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 butterfly. Please, help me. Help me. Help me. Help my situation. Help my life. <laughs> I mean, I love lashes, but somehow they just never get it right here. Back in Nigeria, the person that make my lashes get it so completely right that doesn't give me any problem at all but here i have not seen a single person that does it well i mean i'm able to like take it off the next day but this one has refused to to come out so please if you have a solution for me put it in the comment section thank you moving on to today's business how long ago did you check on somebody you call your friend or family how long how often do you check on your friends and family that is my topic for today maybe we're expecting something different but today i just want to talk to us about this thing that we a lot of people a lot of us actually neglect we don't pay so much attention we don't give it you know the necessary attention that it needs i just want to talk to us about it how often do we talk to our family and friends I am very much guilty. I know that. But, you know, that doesn't make it right. That doesn't make it okay. How often do you say, hi, I just want to check on you. A lot of people, you know, they just check only when they need you. Are we that person too? You just, you know, call somebody only when you need their help, only when you need them to do something for you. Is that the only time you remember this person is still existing? 
if you are like that if you are doing so it is bad there's no other name that you can give to it than bad i da komeji i da i'm speaking to my yoruba people now in case you don't understand where that language is coming from i'm saying that it is very bad there is no other name that you can give to it it is bad if the only time you think i just want to call this person the only time you want to talk to them is because you need something and no i think it's even come up from for her people now you know they will just give you like a week notice <laughs> kind of like i'm coming next week oh what this is what i'm saying they'll call you a week before and say ah just checking on you it's a lie next week they'll come and give you bill it's like that yes in case it has not happened to you it is coming but it's not good it is not you know, even the people, like I said in my last video, I said the people you think have a seemingly good life, a seemingly perfect life, they have issues. Everybody just believe that this one is doing fine, that this one is doing okay. Nobody is asking because they feel, oh, see, yo, like, don't chop belly food. It's fine. It's perfect. It's okay, you know. We are the ones that are just going through life. No, it's not. it's not like that at all. It is not like that. See, does that person you think is too is is just okay? I mean, like is good, is perfect, is that or she is perfect, she is good, she does not need you. Might just need that phone call, that text from you, just checking, like, hey, I'm just checking on you. Hey, are you good there? Just checking in. Simple. Or you could be maybe when you remember them their name or their thoughts just come to your mind just say hey your thought just flashed through my mind now i just thought to check on you we don't have to necessarily stay on the phone for forever before we can say hey i just want to check up on you how are you doing it doesn't take anything from us it does not reduce us it does not reduce our personality if you're asking yourself does that make you a bad person yes yes is the answer like i said it is bad no other name that makes us bad and like i said i am not a saint when it comes to this particular um matter i am not a saint i am as guilty as everyone else we all hide under numerous excuses we find numerous excuses as to why we cannot call everybody is busy yeah life itself is busy everybody is busy but then, should we now neglect our friends and family? Should we just forget about them? If you are thinking about what I'm saying now, and your friend is also thinking about what I'm saying, like, you know, if everybody has that mind, it's going to go around. And nobody will be left alone. I'm saying that nobody will be, because you don't know. The person you think is even going through a very sweet life, might have something that is really dejecting them your phone call might be the savior of the, of the day your your text message might be the saving grace please do not forget do not forget try as much as possible even in the midst of your busy life in, in the midst of your busy days busy activities try and find time and just say hi i'm just checking on you listen i am not saying that you should you know constantly go through your facebook contacts your ig contacts or your because most of us even those ones on ig and facebook you don't even know numerous numbers of them i'm not talking about you you know scrolling or you know digging through all your contacts i'm not talking about that i'm not saying that you because of this now you should neglect your own needs i'm not saying that you should give yourself up to the point that you feel to the point of exhaustion no don't do that. I'm not saying that you should neglect or ignore your own mental state. It is very important that we check. Just keep a tab on somebody. Look, just check on them. Just check on them. It takes nothing away from you. It really does not take anything from you. Do not wait until you need that person. Do not wait until you need their help. And that person in your family that looks like oh, you got it all. You got nothing. I'm telling you, you got nothing. No man is an island. No. No man. We all need each other to pull ourselves up. So nobody got it. God got it. You don't got it. I don't got it. 
only God got it. So please take time to just check on people. Please don't wait until you need them. Don't wait until you want to ask for money. Don't wait until you want to ask for any kind of help before you can call. When somebody call me, especially from somebody from a long time, I feel so glad, like, oh my God. So I'm still remembered. For me, it goes a long way. It goes a long way. I'm guilty of it as well, but I know that whenever I have the time, I try as much as possible to keep in touch with my friends and family. If you're watching or listening to me, I hope uh, I've connected with you with this message. So please and please do not neglect your friends and family. Try to reach out to them often, please. Please do not forget to subscribe and share this message. Do not forget to stay safe. You can't be too careful at this period. So please stay safe out there. Stay very much safe. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.